<laughs> All right. Welcome back. Uh, Matt Passmore is here, back for second season, starring in Satisfaction. I wish you could have seen him dance. I, you have some moves. You, you have might have moves. to bust him out Maybe. later. Well, I, I move yeah. like Jagger? Okay. Yes, you do. Very mm -hmm. much Jagger-ish. <laughs> anyway, on Satisfaction, he plays an investment advisor looking to make some changes in this uh, life that he's leading. In tonight's episode, a Look, new investment. What's your philosophy, Plato? We need to come up with a singular message if we're really going to do this. Start our own escort business. That's right. You weren't kidding on the phone. You realize you've gone crazy, right? Maybe. Or maybe I'm just happy. So, what's your philosophy? Be yourself. Listen more than talk. And be great in bed. That's it? That's it. Life is really simple for you, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad that was off camera. Um, <laughs> We need a little okay. backstory here for yeah, folks explain. who don't know the show, okay? Please. Right, well, uh, um, the, the, the show started with Neil Truman not happy in his life. He, ha he more or less has the American dream, mm -hmm. great family, very successful. But beautiful he's wife. Beautiful wife, beautiful daughter, but he's just not happy. He's not satisfied. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. um, and so he, he realizes that he's in a prison of his own making. He blows that out of the water. Finally, uh, runs to the person that he really wants to connect back with, which is his wife, and she is Explain in the it. arms of another man. Oh, yes. Explain what happened with his wife, though. What was going on? So uh, his wife was seeing a male escort, was paying for a male escort. So did she know he was an escort, or did she? She knows he's an escort. Okay. She was yeah. Yes. We we flashed back to see that six months before, when she was really crying for help. For he Neil, was not then it. no, he wasn't noticing it. It was in that work bubble yeah, yeah. and. And trying to, you know, it's a, it's also a show about um, dealing with this society of trying to be all things for all people, mm -hmm. a mother, a father, a trying to satisfy everyone, trying to find, satisfy everyone, yeah, and in and in doing so, not satisfying yourself, and then trying to find that balance. Now, his way of doing that is is not to to confront his wife and blow the marriage out of the water. What I found very endearing is that he then goes more into himself, and starts to dabble in the world of the male escort. It to, in order to try and find out why. why, why did, how did this happen? Why did my wife need to pay? So then for you become someone? an escort. So in fact, yes, he he sort of he goes down the rabbit hole. Okay. Probably not the best relationship <laughs> advice, but um, yeah, he he starts. And to, while an some, escort, some people would say see a therapist. Right. Okay. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Go and get mediation. No, he goes and sees other women. Yeah. So enjoying the process of seeing other women, or kind of like a research project or getting into it for you know that's tough I, th I think uh yeah he really did fall down the rabbit hole I think he went into it as a research project right and uh and realized that it's quite uncomfortable when a, a woman is meeting you for the first time and is paying for you and then you're going yeah but why why are you why do you why do you want to do this <laughs> um and then of course you know realizing he was falling into bed but then um but he was it was becoming um, it was a story about becoming honest with himself and in turn Grace becoming honest with herself and realizing that they hadn't lost touch with each other, they'd lost touch with themselves. Yeah. And so they'd, they'd forgotten what they were bringing to the relationship. And through this very strange, unorthodox, probably, you know, something very morally wrong, uh, wrong in, 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 in all of our eyes, mm -hmm. um, there seemed to be there's some positive aspects coming out of it, but the secrets and lies build up and you can only sustain that for so long. Right. So, what happens? So, uh, uh, it just premiered the other night and um, the proverbial dog poop hit the fan and uh, it blew up. So now the, the, the season shoots off in a very different direction with a very new energy. Did, did they, the people created the series, are they way ahead? Are they thinking like three years down the line or are they reacting to like last se season and creating this season? I think a bit of both. I think um, Clifton Campbell, uh, especially the first season, that was a very personal thing for him. Um, and uh, then going into second season, I think he kind of knew where it was going, but it was still very reflective on, on, on uh, how the show was perceived. Do, do you get so a, a say in this at all? Oh, no. He's like, who do you no, want me to sleep with? I'm just an actor. Who do you want me to sleep with? Who do you want me to get That's in? That's right. Yeah, okay. exactly. I get the script and go like, what's your name? Melissa. All right, yeah. let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, um, should yes. we talk to him about the Glades, which I know you loved, or should we have him dance? Because no, we have rather, like a minute left. A little left, satisfaction. So. Can we do some satisfaction? This is terrific. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the show is called Satisfaction. 
Come on, Brad. Come on. 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 Come